So what I want to do is I'm going to talk to you about the tremor mechanism in the human body. And all of us are very familiar with that. When we get nervous or frightened, we shake, like our hands could shake or our voice might shake. Even for exciting things, like you're going to go on a roller coaster ride and it's scary. Now, it's fun, but it's scary at the same time. And you might find that your legs are shaking. So the human body really shakes regularly. I mean, it, it's a common mechanism in the human body. And that's what I want to try to get across to you. I'm not teaching you um, a technique. I'm not teaching you a method, although I had to call it that to be able to market it in a way. But it's sort of like breathing. All of you breathe, but we have 10 different breathing techniques. It's like sitting in the ice. Um, we could all go sit in the ice, but there are some ways to do it more appropriately than other ways. Well, what I'm going to do is teach you how to tremor, but it's a genetically encoded mechanism in your human body. So I'm not teaching you a technique. I'm actually inviting you into explore or experience your body in a way that you might not have experienced it before. The odd thing about that is, is that if it's genetically encoded in us, we should be curious about that. Like, why is it in there? and What does it do? If it's genetically encoded in us, we should be curious to say, well, let me try my genetic encoding and see, see what it does for me. Does it help me at all? So I'm trying to invite you to go into your body, not teach you a technique or a theory. And let me preempt it by saying, when people say, how often should I do this? You should do this for the rest of your life. No different than breathing. You should do it for the rest of your life. Now, that doesn't mean you do your breathing technique regularly, but you do have it in your little bag of tricks that the next time you get anxious, you might do your breathing technique. Well, this is one of those things to put in your little bag of tricks. The next time something happens to you, you want to do this. You want to activate your tremor mechanism. Now, I want to say that I do this every single day but not because I've designed it or anything like that. It really does help me stay grounded in my body. And it does take away the stressor. So think of it like this, that in our nervous system, it goes up and it comes down and it goes up and it comes down. We get excited and we get calm. And this could happen 10 times, 20 times a day, depending on what kind of day we're having. Our problem is when it goes up and then we stay stuck up here. So we're in this high excited charge and we don't know how to get it to come back down. That's when you go to your bag of tricks. And I want to introduce this um, tremor mechanism to you as one of your uh, tricks in your bag. OK, so let me show you a, a two PowerPoints here and then I'll show you a couple of videos. Then I'll stop for questions before we actually go in to do um, the exercises together as a group. OK that okay so i call it tre which is tension and trauma releasing exercises okay and so uh let's see here how do i move this along here okay so it's really a series of simple exercises and they're designed to mildly stretch and fatigue the muscles the combination of the two of these evokes this tremor mechanism that you see this guy doing in the human body. Now, he's just laying there. The tremor mechanism is moving through his structure by itself. That's the key to this, okay? So if I can mildly stretch and fatigue your muscles in this position, which I'll show you later, this activates a genetically encoded reflex mechanism, which produces a gentle vibration. This helps to burn off excessive adrenaline created by the stressor. This simple process releases muscular tension and downregulates the nervous system. So I want you to take this up as a self-help technique to access the body's natural healing mechanism. It can be done with large populations, which I've done all over the world, a lot with natural disaster survivors like earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, and um, I've gone to a lot of war zones where I work with people who are recovering from war or political violence. 
and it does not require the guidance of a clinical therapist. That's very important because if you're in a natural disaster zone and you have a million traumatized people, you do not and cannot depend on clinical therapists to help a million people. That paradigm doesn't work in that circumstance. So we need self-help body-based techniques to deal with some of the traumas that we have uh, going on in the planet. Okay. So now what I want you to do is we have to reframe the human body as a pulsating alive organism. Basically the human organism just pulsates. And that's all it does, that's its aliveness. That's how we know we're alive. The human organism naturally pulsates when it's safe. So that's when we have our easiest, biggest pulsation. And we know that most in our breath. When we're safe, our breathing is nice and deep and relaxed and easy. However, when we perceive danger, our our body reduces its pulsation, meaning it begins to contract and it contracts for the purpose of starting to protect itself. There's some sort of danger. So that means it reduces the pulsation. Now, after the danger is over, the tremor mechanism genetically encoded in your body should activate itself actually, because it will reinitiate the inhibited or frozen pulsation that the body had to go into to protect itself from some perceived danger. So we should, just as much as we don't control contracting our breathing when we're frightened, we don't control that, our nervous system does. We also shouldn't be controlling the process of reinitiating this tremor mechanism. It should reactivate itself, which it can do once you train the body how to do this, because we've been trained out of this. So the tremor mechanism in the human body appears to be an essential component of our self-regulatory system. This implies that all humans have a right to this self-regulating human mechanism as a means of supporting self-care. So TRE is about teaching this mechanism to others and guiding them to learn how to use this new, or what I believe to be ancient body mechanism in a safe and effective manner to support self-care. Now, the reason I say a safe and effective manner is it's no different than breathing techniques. Remember, breathing is the natural element uh, uh, um, behavior of the human body. But you could do all sorts of different breathing techniques and flood yourself. You're doing them too intensely. You're not doing them in a regulated manner. Same thing with this tremor mechanism. Once you learn how to activate it, many traumatized people overdo their self-help routines because they're used to overdoing everything. That's the way they live life. So you give them a cute little technique to help them come alive. What do they do? They beat the shit out of the technique and they destroy their bodies in the process. So you want to make sure that you learn how to regulate this mechanism living in your human body, okay? Because it's there to help you and you don't have to push it to help you. 